Hey YouTube, it's Aldon, and welcome to episode 8 of my Mass Effect Let's Play. And here we go. Last episode, we were at the Citadel Tower, just about to talk to the Council about Saren. As soon as it loads, wow, this is slow. Okay, here we are. Ashley Snell Bank. Hey, the hearing's hey, already Captain. started. Come on. That animation looks really strange. It doesn't look like there is nothing to indicate Saren was steps. involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. I actually kind of like the way the, the council Eden is Prime portrayed. Reports, They're really stubborn the and they don't like to believe what you tell them. Dock worker is hardly compelling but proof. I like how their character I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. That actually makes sense. Captain because Anderson, there's no way you can prove you always it was to be Saren. He did say he thought it was Saren. Against me. I wouldn't really trust that guy either, though. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. Let's see. I'm not gonna do that. I'll do this. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, you know, the interesting thing in this me, is that you can't, report, I was like, just assume that it, but what can you expect that the guy was wrong, that it wasn't human. Saren. Because you don't actually, we don't actually have that much evidence that it is Saren. All we have, just as much as the council does, that the one guy said, I, I think his name was Saren. That is all the evidence we have. Obviously, uh. The player knows that it's Saren, but we shouldn't. Uh, but I will say this. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Does Spectres Udina ever is not say the anything in a meeting. calm voice? This meeting ever? has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? Yeah. How can I defend I actually I don't blame the Council at all after this. I agree. Our judgment it doesn't really make sense to disbar Saren based wild on the evidence. Imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I've never actually noticed that I won't before. Waste my that breath. Saren, it's not obvious that he's the bad guy to the character. The Council has it found really no evidence be. of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. An interesting this thing is adjourned. about Mass Effect is that a lot of the time, except for like the final decisions, you don't actually have a choice of what to do, you just have a choice of how you do it. That actually makes sense because of the way the morality system works. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Just because he's racist doesn't mean he wants to kill everyone. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a I long time I actually really like Saren as a, a villain. Real bad. We'll we get into more of that later. A lot later, but actually. I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. I am not going to say I don't him? trust Garrus. I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month. Now, Harkin I job. wouldn't trust. 
I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. Is I need to just take said? care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Hawkins I'm probably not sure an ambassador can den. technically do that. It's a dingy but... little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. Tell me Shadow more about broker. the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. He's an Buying interesting and character. Information is Actually, a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker brokers, just I've happens to be the best player on the field. And it makes Always sense sells what, you, to the highest what gets discovered about. Doesn't get involved uh, in there's actually a Doesn't DLC for Mass Effect 2. A simple system, but it works. Um, He's not a threat to anyone. Where you not actually directly. learn a lot more about He's just the Shadow a resource Broker. We can use, or she is. Or maybe they are. You don't Nobody actually really hear is. that much in this game. He's not important to the plot. He's not in Mass Effect 2 either, actually. Uh, Spectres, because we always want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. How do they decide How who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done. Like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation. But with him gone, things are still up in the so air. So no one told... I want... No one told Shepard that the Spectres were looking at him. Is there any particular reason for this? Um, let's... I'm just thinking. It's possible that he didn't... They didn't want him to change the way he was reacting because of it. Or maybe the Spectres are just looking at, like, hundreds of people and it's just not really practical to tell all of them that they're being investigated. Uh, let's ask this, since it's very relevant. What happens when a Spectre goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The Council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. I Other think times, that's supposed to be his naval uniform, but there is like the nothing wall. on Do it. Do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. I guess those the might be ranking, uh, rank insignia on his shoulders, but there is not a. And that could have been really interesting. Uh, Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the Kansas. I don't think Udina gets frustrated. along with anyone. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Uh, I'm not going to say either of those. Uh, that's enough for now. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Frick. Sorry if there was a little skip there. I had to go do something real quick. Where, where am I? Oh, yeah. See, that's where I was. Let's go talk to this guy just for a minute. He's gonna give me a quest, but I'm not really gonna to do something. it. What guy? The one over by the keeper. What? Well, no, Ashley's I never been on the Citadel yeah, before. She seems relatively used to the um, um, keepers. Yes, is there something you want? 
Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keep- Don't get coy. I know what I saw. That interruption I, uh, was closer than most. I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Uh, I don't really want to help him, but he I will give us more information. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard. With He'll the give Alliance us more Military. information if we get the quest, because I want to well, hear more I, about I the keepers. I use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll, I'll do that if I'll I see one. I'll send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing there, with the data once you've scanned um, it? I'm going to do it to whenever I see I one, but I'm not going to go out keepers. looking for them. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Yes, I have well, much work myself. Well, he didn't say as much as I wanted him to. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Yay. There actually wasn't as much in that conversation as I hoped. Um, and that took a long time. Where am I going? Uh, let me just decide which one I want to do first. Nope, wrong button. Right button. Missions. Let's see. Garrus. Yeah. I think I'm going to go do that first. Yeah, but I have to go talk to Harkin. I don't want to talk to Harkin. I will talk to Harkin anyway. He's in Kor's Den? Yes. Harkin is just a pain. It doesn't make me walk there. That's interesting. Because mo for the most part, you have to walk someplace and activate the... Uh, not sure if you have to actually activate the console or not, but you do have to go there before you can go there using the um, consoles. Here we are. Oh yeah, I forgot something. That's him. Yay! We get to shoot stuff. Uh, push. Oh, why am I using the assault rifle? That's why. Get back, get back. Oh god. Get down. Ooh. Get off. Oh. This fight is ridiculously difficult for being so early on, and I have no idea why. How the heck did my companions die so quickly? So, there went my first That's death. Him. I will. What the heck? Did you see that damage? That was ridiculous. How that? How can you possibly have any idea of that, Caden? Okay, that hurt. There is no regenerating health, but at least that goes away once you're out of the fight. And can I heal yet? Uh, so that was a pain in the butt. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, what was I gonna say? Um. Yeah, I think that's it.
uh, thanks for watching. Uh, comment if you have anything to say. Like it if you would, please. And subscribe if you haven't. I think I had a lot of good stuff to say in this episode. And uh, tell me what you think. Thank you. And saving. And I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.